Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Do 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 do. We have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome, for the first time on the podcast, musician and rapper Blimes. That was impressive, Steep B W B. It's good having you. What a beautiful Did, intro. I try to, you know, I kind of play the same shit every <laughs> every time, but I try to do a variety. Uh, I think I, I grew up with Mr. Rogers. Mm-hmm. I wanted my whole thing to. Like a Mr. Rogers vibe to yeah. it, um, and uh, yeah, it's been going on for two years now, and um, I've had a lot of great people come through, and um, I actually can I be honest with you, I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey man, it's <laughs> every working. week's a blur. Every week is just it's fucking you know, working. You know what they say, right? What do they say? If it's broke, don't fix don't it. Don't fucking fix it. Yeah, you're I'm killing sorry, it. I'm about to, you know, I know this is unprofessional. Did I say if it's broke, don't fix it? Uh, I meant if it ain't broke, if don't it fix ain't it. broke, don't fix it. And yeah. you're going to get into why my head is in the space that it is right now. Mm-hmm. I'm sure in a little bit. But if you're at home, it's been a <laughs> it's been it's a, been a trying week. It's been a weird uh, time to live in in this world. Totally. Huh? That um, as well. Because you mentioned what's going on with your family. I, I brought up my father yeah. and dealing with all these different types of family things or, you know, mental issues or sickness. And it's even more apparent because of COVID and all this shit. Totally. Yeah. Right. Everything's but, uh, when you stop, like everything flies to the front of the mm-hmm. car, you know, and we all stopped and everything's flying to the front right now. Yeah. Do you think we might be in an alternate reality right now? Like something shifted like in 2012 or do you think that we're not? I think I think something happened. <laughs> yeah. Like on um, back to the future, um, like some back to the future Yo, shit where, uh, you know, Biff, mm-hmm. Biff successfully uh, stole the DeLorean. Yep. Went back in time, fucking uh, stole the sports almanac, fucking. And now it's, you know, it it happened like that, but something in the space time continuum shifted. Absolutely. Because, dude, it's it's so far. It's too fucked up for it to be. Oh, this is normal. Mm -hmm. It's nonstop. Like like Donald Trump is like equivalent to Biff (laughs) in Back to the Future. Absolutely. He, He did it. He did it. We don't know, but something boop shifted. The nail on the head. You feel that way? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'm not crazy for thinking that. I mean, I don't know yet. Yeah, but, but you feel I you do feel, agree with you on that one. So Because it's too crazy. You know, like I feel like I feel like I know this sounds crazy because I mentioned this in the past podcast uh, the last two weeks. I felt like I feel like I know this is kind of going to be dark to say, but I feel like we're di- we all died. Like we everyone, died. like everyone, like, everyone. Well, no, just the people. There was an apocalypse. The people in your world, uh-huh. in my world, mm-hmm. the you know, like your homie, mm-hmm. like the people well, you, that you see on a day to day basis, right? Everyone in your reality, yeah, all died. Mm-hmm. We're unaware of it, mm-hmm. and it shifted over to some Mandela effect shit. And here we are now. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. Thank you. I won't be able to <laughs> sleep tonight. I appreciate that, and I really need to sleep. Yeah, so. me too. I couldn't sleep last. I mean, All right. I three um, thirty a.m. You're getting a text from me. If I woke up, up at eight p.m., so I wasn't yep. even tripping when you texted yep. me. I'm like, oh, good. It, it'll just give me more time. To, time to wake up. To, to prepare. Right. Greet I woke the, up at greet the day, if you will. Yeah. Uh huh. And when I wake up, um, sometimes I feel like. Even walked into Ralph's to get groceries, I feel like something ain't right. Mm-hmm. I mean, am I tripping? Or? No. And the, and it's crazy that we're talking about this because I, I haven't been in L.A. since December. And I live here, but I haven't been here. I left for two weeks for, for my mom's. For family, for family for stuff. For my mom's birthday and for Christmas. Oh, and where did you go to? To the Bay, where my where family the lives. So I grew up in San Francisco. That's what's up. But a few years ago, my family moved to the North Bay. So they're in Novato now. How crazy! I've been st- watching stuff on YouTube, mm-hmm. going down the rabbit holes. Yeah, yeah. How crazy! It's crazy in Frisco right now. Yeah, near the Tenderloin. Mm-hmm. And do you yeah. know that I grew up on Golden Gate? Okay, so, so you, a hop, skip, and a jump, right from, from the TL. Yeah, but you know that legally, 
a homeless person or per any person could go into CVS, mm-hmm. steal, take what they need, and you can't do you can't shit. stop them. You can't stop. There's em. laws now. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How crazy. Because is that? I have friends that work, you know, it's in, 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 in different retail situations, and, and yeah, you can't do life. shit. Yeah, you can't talk. You can't stop them. It's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Right. But also at the same time, like fuck big business right like fuck yeah, capitalism yeah like you know mom and pop like i'm i'm gonna fucking look out for them and if somebody's taking something but from my mom and, mom and pop shop i'm gonna you know defend their that's honor different. that's different but from big business i'm kind of like hey man fuck them like they're fucking they're getting they've been getting over for a hell of long you know so like 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 these huge corporations huge corp yeah like yeah, huge yeah. Chain, capitalist like fucking, corporations yeah yeah that's like, what i'm talking wouldn't about trip if it was walmart no nah. no 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 walmart no 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 you don't, you know, yeah, I would exactly. encourage you to feel it. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. we'll, edit that out. we'll edit that out if, if nah, Walmart comes hollering at me. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I very much believe in people getting the resources that they need. To survive. To survive, especially when they've been held back from getting them for a very long time systemically. So, yeah. I mean, it's affecting me, like, where I live. Do you right know now. that they found a, there's a backyard mm-hmm. on that side mm-hmm. of the window? I kind of saw it, yeah. Yeah, you kind of yeah, saw yeah, it, yeah. right? Just mm-hmm. trying to find this place, right? Yeah homie some dude off the street on meth came back here yeah like came back here sometime Fuck. and there's a backyard there's mm-hmm. a shed mm-hmm. he just set up camp he right there living there i don't know how long my yeah. neighbor rain mm-hmm. uh texted me said yeah. hey uh blah 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 we just had to kick him out i'm just giving you a heads up and yeah I'm like, whoa yeah that's crazy everybody especially in la it's it's really bad we need serious change but like this is even scarier yeah level. no doubt i agree but this is even scarier is because like right because window. it's in the cut mm-hmm. like you would have to know i'm back here mm-hmm. but i have and a theory living right there but next I, ha- to you? I have a theory mm-hmm. on that because mm-hmm. i've caught other full slipping mm-hmm. and then there's a common denominator meth mm-hmm. i think fools on meth mm-hmm. voices mm-hmm. uh tell them mm-hmm. hey walk back go do yeah (laughs) Yeah, they got they got the tweaker yeah they got the tweaker demonic you know what i'm saying you know it's no it's no tweaker bash over here because like everybody's going through their shit well you you pick your poison whatever the 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 voices the voices and like and like the projects like the 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 work that they need to do you know yeah like when you when you see somebody tweaked out and they're working on a project agenda you're like that's that's that shit. That's that shit. They're off that that's shit. A, that, they're, they're working on a, on a different grid. Project. They're on a different system. That is yeah. That is a ten day project turned oh, to a two oh, day project. Yeah, and they won't done overnight. And they're they're fixated on mm-hmm. it. Oh yeah. Because another example oh, is yeah. this other fool. It was like mm-hmm. four in the morning, and mm-hmm. I heard rattling just right outside my door. Mm-hmm. And, and then uh, I had a dog here at the time barking. Yeah. And that's why I knew something mm-hmm. was somebody up. was out there. And then I didn't go. Thank God, because they caught the dude. Um, on the camera because mm-hmm. uh, our other neighbor uh, installed the camera on yeah. the side there yeah. so to see who's going in and yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she sent me the footage. This fool had a shank. Damn. Like he not a shank, but it looked like a sharp object, like a pen. Damn. Like this. Damn. Walking. He was in. armed. Armed and ready to go. Ready to do shit. His, all it takes is little. All it takes is walking out this door he, to step into oh, the wrong yeah. situation. So I, I, I um. I peeped out the evidence, like yeah. what he did, yeah. dude. On those steps, going to um, my other neighbors yeah. up there, mm-hmm. he had a whole Lego, like, like he had a project going on. Different, I because I have items on the side that yeah. I discarded, like yeah. shoes and just yeah. other shit, little yeah. knickknacks yeah, I don't yeah. want in here. Yeah. And he had them spread like. It was so like he, he had a project. Like, like he had a project. So he had a project. Like it was a store. <laughs> There's a common denominator here with the with the with the uh, extra tenants that your building is attracting, and we think we know what it is. Like what do you mean? What do you mean? It's the meth. Yeah, That's the I common think denominator. That, the the building with that particular <laughs> drug. Because I had a good homie, like, mm-hmm. and he was this guy was a mm-hmm. very fucking talented music producer like mm-hmm. he he had he had the mpc back in the 90s yeah yeah telling me about like how he's making beats how he's you know has all these different drum libraries yeah. and we're kick talking libra- when it was hard we're talking about when, he, when, when it was he had a dig yeah i feel that. so yeah. he got rid of that that um love for production he started you know fucking with meth mm-hmm. yeah and this dude would he 
you know, it ended up him fucking with the drums and doing drum breaks to him actually going into the computer hard drive and doing a project. Right, project. <laughs> like breaking down the circuitry. Right. Pro- and that scared me. That's the that's the motherfucking uh, deep dive project drug. Like you're just going to be on a mission. You're going to be working on it. You're going to be yeah, in it. I hope, I hope he's doing all right now. I hope so too. Shout um, out to him. Yeah, shout out. Oh, that's just an alias. He's he's got on the he's really on the underground. Got like not a lot of got unless you. you're in Long Beach in the late nineties or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so if you were ear muffet, we don't want to out him. No, no, no. That's the <laughs> homie. That's the homie. He's probably doing way better now. Damn. That he's doing way better now. But uh, what I do is my damn vape. Yeah, yeah. Once you find that, um, I'll just talk about projects. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get off topic. No, it's um. All good. Let's let's focus on you. Um. I found you through social media, and then you were recommended. I don't know if it was from Rivery, but certain people recommended you. Word. And um, where, so are you, where are you originally, f- you're from the Bay, right? Born and raised San Francisco. Okay, because yeah, there's yeah. a lot of music culture up there, you yeah. know, E-40's from up Absolutely. there. Absolutely, Hieroglyphics is Ooh. from up there. Mm-hmm. A lot of Hiro. Uh, the coups from up there. Yeah. Um, so did you, um, uh, how did you get into, like, the whole culture and the music and... Yeah, um, hella blessed, first of all, to be from the Bay because it's, like, definitely a different breed of people out there. Mm-hmm. Like, it, you have... Growing up there in the 90s was a melting pot of the children. You know, my peers were the children of immigrants, the children of artists, mm-hmm. you know, the children of hippies. That's what's That up. all yeah, went to San sure. Francisco. Yeah. And so it was such a good era to grow up there. Hate Street, you know. God damn, it was a good, mm-hmm. artistic, hardworking, diverse group of, of people that I grew up around. Mm-hmm. And I am grateful as hell for it. Um, you said the 90s. I grew up there. And then, yeah, so I was oh, born. Damn. Yeah, yeah, I'm. Damn. So I'm not. I'm not a spring chicken oh, anymore. Oh yeah, 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 I was just gonna say because most uh, some uh, mm-hmm. for the most part, I like I'm older. I'm in my, mm-hmm. you know my forties, mm-hmm. you know, but in so, your forties, yeah, yeah, <laughs> my forties, you know. But um, 40s, you <laughs> but but certain guests I have are, yeah. are more like new, like yeah, new, yeah. like more a little more youthful, youthful, <laughs> like you know, like they grew <laughs> up during a different time. Era, totally, yeah. I feel but that. I feel you on the nineties. Yeah. I feel that I'm a nineties kid. I'm yeah. a nineties baby, and I it was. San Francisco at that time was beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's very different now, mm-hmm. you know, because of, of gentrification, which has made its way to L.A. too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But we got it bad first, I think, mm-hmm. you know, before mm-hmm. prior to L.A., even prior to Seattle. Um, but my father is a blues musician. Oh, that's what's and up. And blues music was wildly popular in the 90s like oh, yeah, you yeah, could yeah, just yeah. stumble from one blues club to the next right. blues club so in san was, francisco he was just a working yeah so musician. he was in the scene i grew up on the side of the stage mm-hmm. you know as f- my parents had me oh at you shows, mean seeing live shows seeing live shows yeah how did that affect you did that like spark you at all well, i can't hear anything now so now it's just i'll just g- i'm guessing what you're saying so oh, no, no, I'm right. <laughs> okay. they blew my eardrums uh, right right, oh right right no right. no no it definitely affected me heavily because i just fell in love with it mm-hmm. i think my parents told me that like at two they put me behind the drum set mm-hmm. and um one of the lyrics from my dad's band was I'm the big bad boss with the real hot sauce. And at two, I was playing the drums and saying, oh. big bad boss, oh. real hot sauce. Yeah, so yeah. it was just game so over it was for in, me. It's kind of in your yeah. blood, the whole Definitely. The mu- music. Yeah, so my grandfather uh, was a jazz musician. His oh. name's Sam. I'm his namesake. So he, he, my so name is also Sam. And jazz. Yeah, so my grandfather played jazz. My dad played blues. Um, and my dad still plays blues. Mm-hmm, so he's in mm-hmm. a band and he tours. Um, and... Yeah, so my granddad played struggle music of his time. My father played struggle music of Ooh. his time. And, you know, I got into hip hop at a very young age. Like, what was the first kinds of things that you were uh, exposed to as far as that? I memorized front to back Waterfalls by TLC in the first grade. So oh, when I was I, six, I'm into TLC. Yeah, yeah, six people, years yeah, old, I was were, standing on my desk. They like, had hits, man. So good. You like, know, it's crazy you brought them up. Mm-hmm. I saw them, um, I went down the rabbit hole, uh-huh. um, a VH1 documentary oh. thing. I didn't know they got so fucked as far as their deal. Yeah. Because yeah. they were nearly it was bad gold news. platinum and they were broke. Yeah, it was bad fucking news. And a right, lot of deals like, at that time. A lot of deals. How the fuck are you mm-hmm. going to sell that many units and mm-hmm. fucking be broke? Be broke. Yeah, because bad deals. 
Bad deals, sharks, and that's, waterfalls that's was still possible. On MTV that's all still the possible time. today. People are signing bad deals today, you know, and it's that's even why more everything now, they want that, that I three sixty deal. That's right. Where all your money? Uh, they, you play video games. Mm -hmm. I want some I want of, your some video of that game too money. because we're building you right. That's like that's what they're telling people. That's but that's why everything I learn in this industry, I share with every other artist I know. I'm not trying to hoard the information. I'm not no, trying to keep great. that shit for myself. No, I'm like, because knowledge is power. Exactly. In a way. Yeah, you gotta like exactly. Relay it. I want my mistakes to be learning lessons for not only me but my whole circle. You know, and yeah. it's taken me, it's taken me rise and falls, rise and falls. You know, over what have I been doing this professionally for, 15 years to mm -hmm. make you know, not 15 professionally. Probably but you've been in it. You've been in it. Ten you've professionally. Been in the hustle. In the hustle yeah, for 15 years. So it's taken me so many almost chances to finally get one that actually stuck. Right. And so it's just like if, if there's anything I've learned, please take the information. I want to pass that on to the next person so yeah. they don't have to struggle as hard. Yeah. And as long as I have to try and that, make this shit cool. work. That, maybe that's a good segue. Like mm -hmm. so like off top, like what like if there's a musician that yeah. ends up watching this. An aspiring rapper or a singer, yeah. songwriter. What what kinds of things would you uh, tell them as far as to help them on their journey? I definitely think th my answer for this has changed a lot over the years. It's a good question. Yeah. Thank you for answering or asking because that's something powerful that people at home can mm -hmm. actually take with them out of this interview. Mm -hmm. It's like it's changed a lot because I used to say perfect your craft, perfect your craft, perfect your craft. Oh, that's absolutely. Absolutely. But now I add a caveat to that. And the caveat is treat it like there's not another option. Like just hmm. keep going. Yeah. Just keep going. Um, so not only are you perfecting your craft, but you're not listening to the naysayers. You're not listening to the haters. You're not you're blocking out everything else and you're just mm -hmm. moving forward with the absolute confidence that you are going to make it because if you stop you will not if you if you pivot if you actually if you pivot it is a good thing we've all had to pivot this yeah. year but if you second guess yourself that's wasted time i like that word uh that you use pivot pivot yeah it's kind of like shifting and yeah going if the, you Thank know, you. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same things and expecting different results. Right. So when you pivot, mm -hmm. you're actually like, oh, I'm going to try a different. I'm going to try something else. Yeah, exactly. See if it works. Right. But. That's great. Yeah, I like to that. pivot back because I do want to say one more thing to anybody listening at home that's doing this. It's um, to get somebody in your corner. So get a team around you is, is also very important. Get somebody in your corner who is going to have your back, have your, your best interest, have your back, have your best interest at heart, but somebody that you trust that's going to speak for you because this fucking industry will try and take advantage of any niceness, any politeness, anytime you try and save face to a suit in this industry by showing mm. them your best side and being kind and being generous and being gracious with your time, mm, your energy, yeah. your art, your effort, they will take advantage of that. So you need to have a buffer between you and the industry. And for me, that's that's our manager, Pinder. And uh, uh, shout out to Pinder. Yeah, Pinder's know, been holding us down. For, uh, yeah, definitely somebody you can trust. Who you know looking out for blinds and gab that's right yeah that's right yeah, that's good where that, are you from steve san diego word my dad grew up there oh, okay where nice about? he grew up in la jolla but before oh, yeah, my brother lived in la jolla yeah i'm, very, I'm pr nice. pretty familiar my brother uh -huh. he worked at the panikin over there okay the coffee shop cool uh, i'm sure he knows oh yeah yeah, yeah la jolla. it was it's like a nice area before um, it was la jolla now it yeah. was like way way back when they yeah. said they were like the first house on the block or something like that but yeah i was cool. um yeah, I, you know, I and then with the music for me, mm -hmm. I, it was mostly the same with you. It's, uh, you know, I was more, uh, you know, my brother was more into like Depeche Mode mm -hmm. and Bob Marley and mm -hmm. Black Flag or Echo and the Bunny, you know, like just obscure rock bands. Yeah. But he did, you know, um, he, he knew about like the Beastie Boys and, and stuff like that. But I, I discovered it. Uh, rap, yeah, specifically rap and all that, mm -hmm. um, through MTV, yeah, because they have MTV yo, raps, yo MTV raps, oh yeah. So every day at four thirty, baseball cards, yeah, Woo, that uh, shit was Ed fire, Lover, uh, yeah. 
and all that. Um, um, and uh, it really grabbed my interest when I discovered groups like, uh, you know, like the Far Side yes. and um, uh, when I saw Dell the Funky Homo Sapien. This is going back to your area, the yeah. Bay, mm -hmm. and seeing that uh, video, uh, sleeping on my couch. Yeah, and so classic. Was, yeah, so it was one of those songs where I'm like, whoa, I like not only the music and the production, but I like their fashion and their whole vibe. The I aesthetic. love aesthetic. Yeah, the Everything. aesthetic like yeah. really um. I actually like sought after there was like these uh, Adidas like Timberland like style hiking boots mm -hmm. and I found those in the mall. Oh yeah, and I, I know saw exactly them. what yeah, you're talking were, like, about. Yeah, they were like tan with the. I green. wish I could remember the yeah, name. Yeah, but you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Those were hard those body. Are, yeah, they yeah. were they were really tight. Yeah, they were mm -hmm. like hiking boots, but Timberland esque. Adidas. Adidas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like brown with mm -hmm. green and yeah. like striped. Like, I remember. And I remember finding those and those have to do with. Uh, that had to do with the music video. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that the homie in the video had those, had on, those. on the couch. I want those. And then so that had um, a lot of influence in like Cypress Hill. Tastemakers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like Cypress Hill, Diggable Planets Love. and like shit like that. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I like this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I can't front on the Fugees. That first, uh, the score. Mm -hmm. Um And... Oh, dude, I fucking love Lauren yeah, Hill. Yeah, same. Like, Lauren same. Hill had a huge impact on I remember me. listening to the Fugees, like, after school, as soon as I got yeah. home, doing my homework. But there's special, something special about Lauren. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God, she And was, that's who stuck out to me every time. She was tighter than the other, but then those other two, Praz and Wyclef. Mm -hmm. I like Lauren better than them. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, she's tighter than she's, them. Yeah, she's the winner. Like, she, like, made, she honestly, made it. Honestly, She made like, it, yeah. she's. I thought she was better. Yeah. But yeah, you going would back be to, correct. Oh yeah, I was just <laughs> like, oh, because she not only had the lyrics, she you could hear. Uh, you 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 mentioned pain and blues and jazz. You could hear the pain in her lyrics right. and her delivery and all that. Right. Shit. And like, there's so. something about the, like the timber of when you can hear you can hear that it. in somebody's voice that makes for unmatched. Sa sonics like on record i love that sound so much and well I, like the real pain yeah, and struggle yeah and almost like a crackliness to somebody's voice it's like you've lived a lot yeah you've experienced a lot i'm glad you, you know? brought that up because mm -hmm. not a lot of look i if you know whatever type of music you do i i respect it and mm -hmm. if it's do you mm -hmm. you know but there's a certain aspect of what you just said where i think it has to maybe like the the time we grew up like I sought after that. Right. You know, whether it's, and this is why I love the far side because they God, didn't the sound like they had high voice, like mm -hmm. more like my tone, <laughs> like more falsetto. Now in my younger days, I used <laughs> yeah, to sport a sag. Yeah, yeah, like and when I went to school, yeah. I carried lunch in the back. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, like I was like, but they still, but they didn't make it. It didn't sound over the top. Like, um, it didn't, it wasn't that, annoying nails on a chalkboard high pitch voice no, at all but no that's you hear a lot there of today was like there was a certain um quality yeah, to it grit and then when i got bought their album which i've bought a hundred times the tape the cd the tape the CD. yeah yeah same thing with the souls of mischief 93 mm -hmm. till infinity i mm -hmm. if there's one album on a desert island mm -hmm. deserted island <laughs> um I would have on I'd a probably, desert island, a d deserted island. <laughs> no, sorry. Like on um, <laughs> Castaway, like if yeah, you're a Tom Hanks song, I got you. Castaway, that would be that it. would be it. Shouts out to Opio, that's my boy. Oh, you yeah, know Ope? oh, Ope is a very we, dear friend we, of mine. We gotta talk after because um, uh, we had uh, Giovanni Marks, okay, uh, um, a good homie of mine. Yeah, um, I work with them, and uh, I I haven't had one person from hieroglyphics on here. Yeah, uh, I I was. Reaching out to Dell, I reached out to A plus, but Gino mentioned Opio, Opio. Uh, that because he uh, Opio's in Highland. Yeah, is he? He's here. Yeah, he's, he's here. in L A. He's mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we mm -hmm. could talk afterwards, yeah. um, because um, I'll hit him up. I thank you I'll so see if, yeah, much. I'll definitely see um, if he's got the availability for I'm, it for sure. I'm a huge. I mean, it's a huge. pandemic. You never know who's gonna who's yeah, gonna say they've but, got uh, the capacity for it. How right? did you link up with? I'm just curious. With how Ope? Did, how did you link up with Opio? And I met Ope. We played a show together in a restaurant in Santa Cruz ten years ago. Isn't that crazy? She brought him up too. That <laughs> synchronicity because somebody just else last week at the end, mm -hmm. my homie Gino brought who, up who you had last week. Yeah, who I had yeah, just yeah. last week. Mm -hmm. Uh, the same topic got brought up. Yeah. And he was like, we could probably get Opio. Yeah, because he's seen him in Highland Park. 
Yeah, that's that's the homie. I'll so definitely you, so ask. So you did a show with him? We did a show 10 years ago or something in, in Santa Cruz. It was in a restaurant. He, he had his crutches, a broken ankle. Like, it was not what any of us expected it to be when we got there. You know those shows mm-hmm. where you show up and where you're you, like... Where there's like five people oh, maybe. Oh, shit. This but is not what I expected. Rock. But yeah, you paid me to be here, yeah, so I'm a rock. There's like eight people. Totally. And you're not... Those are fun though too. It's a challenge. You're not necessarily familiar with the yeah. city, so you don't know the, sh- the spot when somebody tells you you're playing at... Mar Mar Vista three and, and you get there and it's a restaurant t- yeah. right and you're like oh shit here we and go. then you gotta walk down yeah, and yeah. there's a couple yeah a couple tables totally and I was so hungry and so like sure you, unknown yeah. at the time outside of the battle rap circuit yeah um but I was making a name for myself in battle rap but outside of that playing shows you know I wasn't I would I, I wasn't begging you know that. I couldn't so you have, be a choosy you, beggar you feel yeah. me I was just down to rock so you were. In, that's interesting. Yeah, it was a battle rap. Like I definitely was one of the first. Like before, lots of females battle raps started popping off, and that became like a whole thing and a whole arena. There was probably four or five of us women yeah. battle rappers. And, okay, yeah. And I was, you know, in the yeah in the in the early in the early days of it really popping off on the internet. Like we're yeah. talking grind time. You know, grind time now That's era. That's where I think I've seen you. Yeah, because uh, I watch. I'm a fan of it. Word. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. had Dumb here. Shout mm-hmm. out to Dumb. Shout out Dumb. That's my yeah, boy yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think on mm-hmm. one of the LA ones, you were. You know, at the judge at the end at Reveries. Yeah. Was it Reveries I battle? Th- maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. At the end, probably. Yeah. Or like I don't know. I I, I popped. Shout out into to Reverie. We just had her I on know. too. Shout yeah. out Rev. What yeah, up, girl? Yeah, yeah. I miss you. Yeah. If you're watching this, you're probably not because you're hella busy. But I miss you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's where I. Was. Sorry for going no, off topic. No, it's but all that's good. Where, that's you know, what this is all about. That's where I think I'm making the connection. I'm like probably. Okay, I, I, you you said something. I at battled the end. at. Rock the Bells one year against Dirtbag Dan. That was mm. terrible. I hated that battle. Um, I battled a bunch on Grind Time a lot in New York. Mm. Um, there was, you know, I made it onto World Star Hip Hop in the early days. It was like White Girl Destroys Rap Battle right, or some shit right, like that. And yeah. I was like, Mom, viral. Look, I made it. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh man, yeah. That's um, crazy. Okay, that's cool. I, d- I didn't, I'm just putting, connecting the dots now. And so then that led me to, um, the success a lot of the success that i have now musically because i I walked away from battle rap because it wasn't aligned with who i am as a person like i'm totally totally such a softy and like such a fucking lover and because at the courts mean spirited you got kind of have to be a dick right and like also like why am i gonna stand on this platform that like why am i gonna why am I going to perpetuate stereotypes on this platform that reaches millions of people when like right. my true goal in life is really to like unify people? Like that's what I fucking love. And uplift people. Totally. Through your words So it just after music. a while I was like this just isn't aligned. Yeah, I am cool. actually putting on an act and being somebody that I'm not, which was fun because I got to act. Yeah, but, but it was not-, not aligned. Like I would meet people on the street and they'd be like, "Whoa, you're so nice." I was not expecting that. Oh, and I'm like, you see to you like being a beast, being oh, a fucking cutting someone down, yeah, 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 like yeah. a bear, you mm-hmm. know? And I left that, walked away from it, changed my name because I wanted to get away from it so badly. Didn't know that. Oh, so it wasn't in Blimes back then? No, it was O Blimey. Oh, blimey. And you'll find it. There you go. It's there. Yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're watching this, I, you'll probably go down the rabbit hole. Just remember, contextually, times were different. <laughs> but she's, she's different now. She's on her music journey now. That's right. Um, that's, that's really positive. And that, that led you know. me, dude. And, and the only reason I bring that up is because I want to let everybody know that's listening. The seeds you plant 10 years ago can absolutely blossom today so i walked away from battle rap and i had no idea that it was going to eventually lead to method man finding me and being like yo you're actually you know through the through the channel he's of, a fan of that shit yeah through the channel of uh drop the mic on tbs he's a fan of like big k and all them exactly yeah, he's a fan he like he, he shows up to the events absolutely right? they hit me up and they were like meth the, the, the show dropped the mic on TBS. One of the producers, Jensen Carp, emailed me and was like, hey, Method Man is a big fan. We're doing this show called Drop the Mic where celebrities are battle rapping. Do you want to come out 
and, and meet meth and work on the show with us and i was like you're fucking with me this is unreal like check the email so the address TV show dropped the mic yeah so i went out i worked as a coach a rap battle coach on the tv show dropped did the mic awkwards do that one too yeah, probably. Okay, I think okay, so. Okay, yeah. yeah, I think because he was working. He on he came down and worked oh, on right, it. Oh, right, right, right. He mentioned and that. Yeah. Shout a out bunch to bunch of people. Yeah. Hollow to Don, yeah, uh, yeah. Kid Twist. Um, I met Mers through that, through working on that. Mers and I are really close now. Um, but I went out, met Meth, and he was like, "Yo, like, I'm gonna keep it a, a bean with you. Like, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you." most battle rappers don't make good music and I've listened to your music and I've watched your music videos and he sang a song of mine to me and he was like, you're the fucking truth. Yeah. Word is bond. Yeah. You're the truth. Whatever you need, That's I got so you. Cool. And so... Met the man himself said that too, those yeah, words. Absolutely. A Wu-Tang member. Absolutely, yeah. I would not, <laughs> not shit not, you. I'm just letting you know not a lot of people could oh. say that. I left I left uh, lying behind in my old life so I'm not, I'm being honest with you. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not, expe- I'm not... No, no, no. I know you're not. Blowing know, it out no, of no, proportion. No, I'm not doubting you at all. It's it just kind of brought ch- chills to me because I have a uh, going back to the shit I grew up with. I remember that fucking cassette tape of uh, Protect Your Neck, mm-hmm. and then on the flip side, it had a M A T H O D man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It had that shit, and I'm like, well, what's this? Absolutely. And so you know, that's like ninety what? Because that promo tape was like ninety before ninety three, right? Any before they dropped thirty six yeah. chambers. So it my should homie, have been 91. My had the, yeah. Yeah. He mm-hmm. had the tape and I'm like, okay, these guys are mm-hmm. special. Yeah. So going back to your story. It still doesn't feel real to me. Yeah. It's so when like you're sitting movie, here and you a, are like, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the chills. I literally text message with Method Man and he doesn't text. He sends voice, a video message back because he doesn't, he doesn't have the time to text. So he sends a video message on back. On Instagram? No, just on text. We're texting. He, he, he texts I'll text you. him. I'll be like, you know, what up, Meth? This is going on. What <sighs> yeah, do you think of yeah, this? Yeah. I hit him up because once you make, f- once you establish a friendship with somebody in the industry, you absolutely have to nurture that friendship. Right. At, like, so it is cool. He, what's it is it? a real I'm, friendship. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Is he, He's cool. Al- hella cool he's down to earth he's one that. of the most genuine sincere guys ever so i so i told you the day i met him he said let me know if you need anything Damn. i went in the studio the next day recorded three songs sent him two of them and i and he goes if you need a feature let me know if you need me to carry some merch at a show i got you if you need a hype man i got you whatever oh, you need on that tip? he was like i got you he's on that tip and so i said i am striking this iron while it is fucking hot i went to the studio the next day recorded three songs sent him two of them one of them was like, he was like, oh, that's personal. You got to finish that one. That's on some personal shit. This one, though. And I knew, I knew that that was going to be the one because it was just this old school feeling with this bluesy hook that yeah, I'm singing. Yeah. Hot damn. He, 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 he came through. He came through. He recorded the, the verse. He sent it to me three weeks later. And I was literally crying. crying. I was. I gotta. I gotta give you a pound for that. I was just wow. like, Method Man just sent me a well, verse off the true, love, huh? off wow. the fucking love. Dreams really come true. God, it's okay. Now get, I got the it's chills. almost giving me it's now almost, I, <laughs> now shit, I got it's him. almost it's almost getting me emotional mm-hmm. thinking about that. Wow. And to this day, not only has he stood by whatever you need, I got you, but anytime that I reach out to him, he's made himself available in the most humble of ways. He never ever makes me or Gab feel like we're bothering him or, or anything all. because it's a genuine friendship, and so many people in almost this, like a mentor. As yeah, well. absolutely. Right. Like right. I could call him with a question, and, yeah, and he would be like, there for me. If anyone knows the industry, that he probably knows all that shit. Right. Obviously, he's killing it, dude. And yeah. it, it makes he's me so still relevant. Huh? It makes I me mean, so fall, happy to see he's him. He's been doing he's, it since the nineties, mm, and he's on power, and he's yeah. dropping records with fucking Griselda, and he's filming videos. He ended up coming. He ended up coming on one. He had one day off while he was shooting in L.A dropped the mic and he had his kids that day and he, he called me i was on tour with my dad Jeez. i used to drive my dad's um band's tour bus crazy. to make money you have a crazy story man <laughs> i didn't expect you so thank I didn't, you I, maybe i should have done more research <laughs> nah. you're like blowing my fucking it's mind all right good now. you're blowing my mind right now you know that i don't think about my story often God. i just k- try and keep one foot in I'm front of the sweating. other you're like getting me nervous i'm, I'm sweating like, who am i dealing with <laughs> now she's talking about method man and, okay but you know what i'm thinking of <laughs> i'm trying to put myself in your shoes Back then, have you ever, did you ever ask? Because I would have definitely at least thrown this out there. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, Meth, do you think he could get a beat from the Rizzo? Because, I, I mean, that. Trust me, 
Every, did you ever think about production? Like, hey, can I get one of them beats or everything in my body wants to ask those things? But that's but kinda, then every cell in my body is like, not yet. Chill Don't out, yeah, kid. Chill, like chill, 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 you, yeah. this man has been so generous with you, yeah. and that's like what I remember all the time too. Because so Gab and I get compared to Meth and Red a lot. Yeah, and so I wanted to be like. Oh, that's Yo, dope. That's a great comparison. Do you feel? Would you? Do you think you and you know you and Red would want to hop on a Blimes and Gab track and we could do like a fucking quadruple mm-hmm. bar down thing? Oh yeah, because they, they had Meth and Red. Yeah, exactly. They, they, they did albums back then. Exactly. They had their own fucking albums. Yes, yeah. but then I think, and I stop and think, Method Man is his own ass man, and Blime, you know, Blimes. Is a separate person from Gab. So I'm if if you're just listening, I'm in a yeah. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm in a group called Let's Blimes and it. Gab. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm Blimes. I have a solo career as Blimes or Blimes Brixton. But then Gab. But Gab is gifted Gab from Seattle, and we came together on this song called "Come Correct" that went went viral on mm-hmm. Facebook, mm-hmm. Um, because it's just old school bars mm-hmm. over this super funky jazz sample piano. Like it's it's hard hard body, mm-hmm. um, but it got us a lot of respect from old school hip hop heads who are hard to gain respect from. So that was tight. Oh yeah. But so Gab and I do solo music, but we also come together as a group, as a group, Blimes and Gab. And when somebody hits me up about something for Gab, I'm like, she's her own ass woman. Or when somebody hits her up, she's like, you should go ask Blimes. Like she's her own ass woman. And so that always pops into my head whenever I'm thinking, you know, it's just being, being very considerate to the individual and being like, you are you they are them. Mm. I don't want to ever make you feel like I'm trying to get to somebody through you ever. Right. Ever. Uh, we've created a relationship. If you offer that to me, I'll take it. But mm. I'm not going to ask for it. But of course, of course, a kid in a candy shop, a hip hop candy shop. Of course, I'm thinking of everybody who's Jizza. exactly or the RZA. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And I have a crazy Jizza story, but. Oh, we'll, get wait, 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 another, wait, wait. we'll get into it another. We'll get into it another time. I'd like to hear it. It's imba- it's an embarrass. This is one of those most embarrassing moment stories. No, I would like to hear it. I mean, I've 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 really told a lot of embarrassing <laughs> stories on my platform. Oh man, I yeah, opened please, up please. for Jizza in San what, what, Francisco. What year? This was maybe three years ago. Okay, go ahead. Four go years ahead. ago, yeah. and my mom came to the show. Okay, and we're backstage, and I really wanted to introduce my mom to. The Jizza. Jizza. Exactly. So it wasn't just to, for for those viewers and listeners. It mm-hmm. wasn't. There's two different enti- There's two different people. There's the mm-hmm. RZA and mm-hmm. then there's the Jizza. Jizza. Mm-hmm. Jizza did Liquid Swords. Mm-hmm. RZA is basically the head of Wu-Tang. Mm-hmm. He brought everyone together. Absolutely. But go ahead. Continue. If you have seen Wu-Tang, he's the guy playing live or, or a video. He's the guy who's always playing chess with everybody he's, he's they're no, deep into chess. Yeah, yeah 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 they're deep he was playing the whole time oh they love the it. whole show it was fucking incredible but they love it all this to say my um i wanted to introduce him to my mom and i wanted <laughs> i was drinking heavy that night we i had gotten off so- at soundcheck no 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 this was after i played this is probably after the show after the show all my friends are in my green room his green room's down the hall we're going buck wild this is like after you perform after i perform after, after, after he merge. performs yeah. sweaty yeah and i'm Chilling. wasted pretty drunk this yeah. is one of the reasons i don't drink anymore mm-hmm. is because of the times i've made an ass out of myself in front of my heroes mm-hmm. <laughs> but I wanted to introduce my mom to him, and I wanted to be formal, and so I introduced him as Gary to my mom. I said, Gary, I'd love for you to meet my mom, Chris. And immediately, I was just like, what the fuck did you just do, Blimes? Like, this is the jizza. Like, no one, probably I, probably I, not even his I'm own just family. You know, I'm just letting you know. I had no idea mm-hmm. his name was Gary. I'm, if <laughs> if this ever gets back to the Jizza, I just it's want you to know. It's a funny story. I love I'm it. I'm so sorry. No, no disrespect. No disrespect. All of the respect. It's In all fact, respect I was doing here. it because my drunk ass at the time thought I was being more respectful. It's a I woke up, up salute to them. You know when you wake up in the morning and you're like, what the fuck was well, I, I thinking? I have a similar story too. Let's my go. My brother was, uh, my brother's an entertainer, comedian, mm-hmm. pretty well known. He's well known. He was hosting. You've had him on the show before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was hosting an award show mm-hmm. uh, at the Wiltern or. Yeah. I mean. I love Quentin the Wiltern, by the way. Was there. I mean, the stars were there. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't sober back then, too. And yeah. This is how long ago I, I drove my little 
you Celica. Mm-hmm. I, I, I must have already down three or four beers before I even went. Yep. He got me backstage access. <sighs> I'm talking the stars were there. Mm-hmm. I grew up with the Karate Kid. Be- this is before Cobra Kai, now mm-hmm. on Netflix. Oh, yeah. This is oh, OG yeah. Ralph Macchio. Oh, yeah. I made a straight fool out of myself <laughs> in front of Ralph Macchio. I went up to him drunk as hell, and I go, Karate Kid, dude. You know, like, I was just a clown. Like, Karate Kid, you know? And he was like, and I'm like, and then, you know, it's one of those things I cringe at. The moment. The moment when you're like, what are you doing? What What are you doing? And not only that, Uh, that's not even the topper. The mm -hmm. topper is, I was sitting in Danny DeVito's seat. Oh, shit. So Danny DeVito walks into the green room area mm-hmm. and goes, hey, kid, that's my seat. And goes, nah, dude, this, I'm sitting I'm here. I'm sitting here. Yeah. yeah. This, nah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, no, Danny, Mr. DeVito. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's one Damn, out of Damn, I many. feel you because I've what made those mistakes. Can we just take a moment of silence well, well, for the people we, we used this, to be? Maybe, maybe we should edit this <laughs> segment. Uh, no, no, that. we're leaving this in there. R.I.P. to that. Yeah. R.I.P. to that, is, Blimes. I clown myself Ooh. in. Because that was, this is one of those movies. I just watched that, that, by the way, at the drive-in. The original original Karate Kid. I watched it at the drive-in like three months ago. It's one of the best it's movies so good. ever made. That beach scene? Oh, yeah. The fucking fight Fun scene? For <laughs> everyone, dude. Oh, you know man. Him? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like where him and Ellie make mm-hmm. that connection. Yep. Bonfire. Yep. But before Johnny and his, uh, his uh, gang uh, yeah. uh, rolls up fucking in the motorcycle. Johnny, man. Yeah. Um, yes. This it's is, a great movie. This is one of those iconic movies that y- I could watch every day. So I can There's certain movies that I could watch every mm-hmm. fucking day and be like, all right, I'm going to watch it again. Yeah. Like uh, First Blood, Rambo, uh, First Blood. Yeah, that's one of them. There's certain movies for me yep. I could just watch all the time. I'll yep. be like, oh, I, I love it. I still mm-hmm. like it. It's, it holds up. It holds up. So I can imagine oh, the fool. weight of this moment for you. I was a fool. I could imagine the hardship you must have suffered I after the i feel you because i am still oh to this day God, trembling when i think about seeing the jizza again and being like yep it's Why? me the dumb drunk bitch that called you gary in front of my mom however there we is a really a cool photo here yeah. we we're both intoxicated we were both heavily I was blasted because mm-hmm. i was I, at that point it's all blur because i had my beers here yeah. But they had refreshments there. I was gra- grabbing champagne off random tables. Yeah. Go, go. Oh, yeah. I relate. So uh, I, I'm i going to put this out in the universe. Jizza. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. We're, we're sorry that happened. Uh, Ralph Macchio. I, I'm sorry I did that. And I was he d- probably doesn't even know that happened. You know, but uh, Danny DeVito, I'm sorry. In the... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DeVito, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm a fool. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, we are probably completely insignificant in their memories. Oh, they don't even remember. It's no. Not, yeah, they don't. H- however, if we could For get the me, chance the to world. do it again. Exactly. For me, it's like some Truman show shit. I remember shit. I texted Meth after, and I was like, Meth, I fucked up. I definitely called Jizza Gary. And he was like, no. Oh, like, you laughed about it? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I know, but he was like, no, what did you do? <laughs> like, yeah. But we had a good laugh about it. But now, man. are there certain scenarios? Because now mm-hmm. I'm going to try to make up for my mistake where you d- made the right choice. Oh, definitely. Like, you tell me one, oh, I'll definitely. tell you one. Okay. okay. Um, Damn, let's see. Well, so there's a movie that just came out on Netflix. There, Here's my redemption in the Wu-Tang world. There's a movie that just came out on Netflix called Cutthroat City, directed by the RZA. Oh, and shit, I need to check that out. You should. Yeah. You should. Okay. It just came out. Mm-hmm. It's it's wild. You will never understand how many peaks and valleys you're, or you'll never believe how many peaks and valleys there are. And then you're like, what? We're here now? This is crazy. Um, But I got the opportunity to meet the RZA at the, the premiere. And... 
I patiently waited my turn to take my picture with him, but only when invited. Like I wasn't, I didn't go up there, you know, busting through drunk, you know, in his fucking area. I waited patiently for, um, the music supervisor to introduce me and say, this is Blimes. Her song's in the movie. Yeah. Her song's in the, in the casino scene. Right. And introduce me the right way. Right. And have fucking humility. Right. And be like very, very humble about the experience. And, uh, yeah, for those of you listening at home, if you make it, you know, if you make it to the level where you're rubbing shoulders with the legends of your league, you definitely want to keep your composure and be respectable. But there is something to be said about those moments of meeting somebody and making a lasting impression. And maybe the fumbles, maybe yeah. the fuck ups would make us stick out in their memory for longer. I don't know. Share well, I know this share. much. Adrenaline was probably involved just oh, being super. around that. Super. Right. right containing but the adrenaline. I would like to think that I redeemed myself in that scenario by being a good, humble just Sam, another day at the job, Blimes, going to meet the RZA. Yes, I, I contributed a song to this movie. I hope you like it. I hope we meet again. Yeah, I hope great. I redeemed myself. That's great. How, what, what was your redemption? Okay, so we're, um, I, you know, I'm in a band mm -hmm. called Mangchi. It's it's more like, you know, there's rap involved, there's country rapping, there's punk involved. It's everything. just a, a, everything. Yeah. We did a show. Uh, we got flown out to... Um, yeah, that's the band. Sick. We got flown out to New York mm -hmm. to do a f New York Fashion Week. Uh, Steve Aoki had a fucking uh, clothing brand. Mm -hmm. So we had that show. Fire. And it was the weirdest fucking show mm -hmm. that we've ever done. It's like, imagine performing and sweating and everyone ignoring you. <laughs> 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 and there's skateboarding ramps oh. everywhere. Oh. Like oh like like God. actors skating just wow. around you. Wow. And you're like, ah. You know, Whoa. yeah. So we had that show, yeah, which I wanted to forget right was away. Was that alternate <laughs> reality times, or um, was that pre alternate reality times? <laughs> what do you mean, like, th like? What do you mean? Post twenty twelve? Oh yeah, the, the, no. This was yeah, no. This was in between. This was yeah after twenty twelve. Yeah, yeah, in between okay. twenty twelve and twenty twenty one. Okay, somewhere in there. Interesting. Okay. Good. Um, but then we had another. We booked it. So since we're out there, we're mm -hmm. like, hey, let's do another show. So yeah. we, I forgot the name of the venue, but. We did another show, mm -hmm. just a regular show, mm -hmm. Be you know, besides the fashion week thing. Um, and so we, we're doing sound check, you know, it was at, uh, I forgot what club, but we're doing sound check at night sometime. Mm -hmm. The night before we were to perform, performing, and we're doing sound check, going over some of the songs, yeah. checking the levels. And then I noticed this one brother, like, on the side, I'm like, God, he looks familiar. And it was fucking um, Large Professor. Oh, shit, Large Pro! Yeah. 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 And so, you know, like with my band, because everyone, they're not so, I'm probably the only like under the hip hop head mm -hmm. or like who, mm -hmm. would, who would know mm -hmm. who he is. Who he is. Yeah. So I noticed him because mm -hmm. he was going to sound check after or mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. And so I thought I did the right things and I respectfully went to him on the side mm -hmm. before, you know, you know, before, you know, before he was doing his sound check. Mm -hmm. So he had it like that, that, that window. Yeah. And so I walked up to him mm -hmm. and I go, Hey, you know, mm -hmm. I just want to introduce myself. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I brought, I think I may have brought up main source. Like, yeah. yeah. I grew up with that. And, you, yeah. know, just, you know, gave him like the whole, yeah. like dapped I dapped him up, him up yeah, dapped him yeah. up. And I'm like, Hey, yeah, I didn't want to bother yeah. you, you know, hell yeah. I, you know, so, so and how did it go? It, went, it was positive. Yeah. He actually complimented the sound check. He's like, oh, that sounded cool, yeah. man. And I'm like, oh, th you know, coming from large, pro you know, and so uh, that made me feel like, oh, that was like the right thing to do. Yeah. And and one of those things, uh, you know, I don't know if it's from like listening to Gangstar, but Guru, like on one of his songs, he's like, I didn't do that shit when I want to get on, yeah. I just said my, you know, well, to the person said yeah. what's up and that he was yeah. out. And so that was my kind of like, um, personal experience with that where yeah. I did, I like maybe took up 30 seconds of his time. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I went like, Hey dude, that love your shit. And I'm out such a long way. Like it goes such, I think so humil fuck. humility. It wasn't the Ralph Macchio thing. Right. Right. You so redeemed yourself. <laughs> so, it was He actually and you you showed him some respect. That and was then ma he mad respect. Took the time to show you respect back. 
Yeah, it was a very short exchange. Yeah. But I'm like, dude, boom, fire. Respect. I'm out. We have so, so many people <gasps> in common, too, because Large Pro came to uh, Blimes and Gab I'm show. I'm so glad. That I know you're a real motherfucker Brooklyn. if you know Large Pro. You, yeah. You know, you, you know yeah. who that is. He, we, I walked Thank, backstage thanks for that. after sound check, and he's sitting in, Blimes, in, in me and Gab's green room. And I'm like, chilling. What the fuck? And our friend Alexis brought him to the show and he stayed the whole time and we all kicked it after Down to earth, dude. super fucking chill yeah it's it and, and that goes so far like i just think that i think that there was a different era it, the humility the the genuine like if you fuck with somebody and you tell them you fuck with them you mean it at in that era they're like and you don't they're tell like them superheroes that, you don't to tell me, them man. that you you don't tell somebody that you fuck with them and not mean it and the difference is today everyone tells you they fuck with you when they don't mean it and then they don't follow through on any of the things that they say does that make sense yeah that makes so much sense or on the flip side of that mm -hmm. they it's almost like i don't it's because of e, maybe ego mm -hmm. but they're like they may fuck with you but mm -hmm. they're not going to give you the benefit not of gonna the doubt tell you or not, not going to give, give you, you that yeah yeah like they're gonna silently act, yeah they're silently, gonna fuck, silently with fuck with you i don't I don't subscribe yeah, but you know to what that. I'm saying? But the, yeah. This is more like the totally. new age. The new era, yeah, yeah, the new era where like I don't subscribe I'm to not, that. you know, I may fuck with you, but I'm not gonna give you that yeah. respect. I, I you know what I'm it, saying? I That's different. From the That's different. Also, like you like the listeners deserve to know who the fuck my my influences are. Like, I want you to know that I'm listening to, you know, I listened to Jurassic Five on fucking repeat when I was a kid. I want you to know that like I wore, you know, I wore the fucking Q-tip vibrant thing out like when I was a kid, and you can hear it in my music because I don't want somebody to come and be like, "Damn, you really sound like Q-tip," and I've never acknowledged it in my life. That like, I mean, obviously, right? Just uh, you know, like I'm glad you brought up Q-tip because <laughs> that's like one of the um, there are certain senseis like I look up to. And he's definitely one of them, like Same. hands down, because motherfuckers need to realize not only did he like bring out this whole genre of new ways of doing the music the itself, like, the like combination. Yeah. Shit, or, just, like, you know, mm -hmm. shout out to Ali the Shaheed blending. Muhammad as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And rest in peace, Fife. Mm -hmm. But Q-Tip, as far as production, mm -hmm. he's the, the blending, the genres. The yeah, absolutely. The fucking man. I agree. And his voice. The man is when I think of my earliest memories of rap, I hear Q-Tip's voice. This is one up. of those episodes where this is flying by. To, yeah, I mean, with you, uh, I feel like I know I like already know you. Yeah, same. <laughs> and it's crazy. So it's I feel like, like there's a lot of parallels in our career. I also played a show with Steve Aoki <laughs> in oh, really? Switzerland, like in 2012 or something or some shit like Can that. Can I tell but you another kind of not yeah. humiliating, but it's kind of embarrassing for Jeez. me. So we did that shit for his uh clothing brand mm -hmm. fashion week mm -hmm. and then i don't know if it was before or after he reached out to uh one of you know one of the one main of the dudes in my band, band dave mates. chode yeah, yeah like the main dude mm -hmm. you know and said i want to remix one of your songs you know yeah and so we're like oh we're sick and so he did do that uh-huh but he Cause I'm the lead vocalist in the band. He took out your vocals. Not even one sound of me. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna just. That, 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 that reaction was so. so that reaction was so priceless. Oh. Just your eyes. Steve, you get, I'm you so just gave sorry. me the puppy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the way you looked at me. I know that that I, hurts. I felt that in my core. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> so why are you laughing, just, man? Why you know, are you, you should, laughing, man? You should so, totally so, cut together so, like most embarrassing moments real of so all of your, I have of so many. Of your podcasts. But I not have just so yours, many. Your guests as so well. So I fucking, when I heard the news, uh -huh. just imagine me. Uh -huh. He's one of the biggest right. DJs you're in the world. You're the world. You're like, Steve Aoki is remixing a Monchi song. Uh -huh. We made it. We or this is going to help mm -hmm. us out. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure you have humility in your soul but at that time i'm sure you were like one of my songs with my vocals on yeah. it because that shit makes us feel special yeah and then you got it back and so what he did feature was we hired 
a Morgan Freeman voiceover actor <laughs> where it wasn't even Morgan Freeman. It sounds exactly. So it's supposed to be like a Morgan Freeman sample? No, no, no. no. Okay, so before, it's the song's called The Best. Mm-hmm. And so before we even start the song, Morgan, the, the actor, the yeah. voiceover actor, says so, like says some stuff in it. Yeah. That's what Aoki used as the main thing. So he doesn't use any of the lyrics. That is painful. So that's like that's when my oh. whole world just like I was. I mean, I must have stayed in bed for a week, yeah. just like bummed out. Like, what the fuck? I'm sorry, man. Even if it was one word or a punching of mm-hmm. something that, I, you know, there I am. Yeah. People like like I said, hey, yeah. <laughs> he used hey. He used hey. <laughs> Do you hear that? Hey, best hey of the year. That's it was, me. It was zilch. <sighs> nothing i'm so sorry it's okay i mean it's life Let's, okay what's the best moment you've had musically what's the moment where you're like well this okay fucking well, a highlight is um going back to the band we went got flown to hawaii shout mm-hmm. out to pat and ruka shout and, um, out to all pat them, and ruka band and all project them. all that all that out uh and we opened up for deltron sick and i had a chance to meet del fire so that was probably Amazing. one of my like, oh, dude, that's because, you know, you know how I'm a big high row head. Hell yeah. And this is going back to you, the Bay. Yeah. You know? And so that was definitely um, a highlight for sure. Amazing. You know, congrats. So, yeah, that was cool. That was we cool. Need, we don't celebrate our accomplishments enough, but everybody is celebrating them now that the Internet era of like, look at me, I'm doing something is is happening. But I feel like per- on a personal level. Yeah. It's always like, OK, I did this. Now, what's the next thing that I'm going to do? But I just want to take a moment to say you fucking did that. Yeah, thank you. I you appreciate did that. that. Yeah, it means something personally to me. You know, Good. it's it's just you know, it's mm-hmm. it was one of those highlights where I'm like, I mean, and that's priceless. You know, it's like we didn't get a pay, paid a lot for that show. Right. I mean, they flew us out there, but it was just the point of mm-hmm. like, oh, I got to meet that like one of my uh, like one of the senseis. You know, one of your yeah, idols. yeah. I feel um, that. God, time flew by with you. It did, and. If it just were like fu- we're gonna do definitely were part like two, part three. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're good. Okay. Um, but I didn't want to forget this. Mm-hmm. I want you to plug all your shit. Okay. Easy. So, um, this is your time to do that. Easy money. Your um, Instagram. And my name is Blimes. I am a rapper and a music artist, mm-hmm. and you can find me at Blimes Brixton. B l i m e s b r i x t o n on all socials so you can find me on facebook instagram fucking tiktok all the shit um Mm -hmm. please follow me on tiktok i'm not sure what i'm doing there yet but you're on there but but i'm there Mm -hmm. um and i'm in a band called blimes and gab and we have some fire music videos how do they uh support that the best way that they can the best way that they can streaming our album talk about it Blimes and Gab talk about it on streaming services, but also watching the music videos because music videos have a better monetization um, for your YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. You t- the with, algorithm. Yeah, viewing the music video makes us more money than listening to the song. So, so you heard it here mm-hmm. um, on the Stevie Weeby show. Um, definitely view the video as much as you can. Yeah, there's tell a friend. Come correct, Shelley's Undu Twa. Mm-hmm. Um, more to come. You what's can watch the, Hot Damn by Blimes. That's what's up. Um, with Method Man, there's a video definitely for that. check that out. Mm-hmm. Um, can you plug the YouTube channel again? Yeah, I th- actually if he hadn't. I don't know what my YouTube channel is, but if you go on YouTube and you search, Ren, do you have a phone? Can you look that Blimes. up? Blimes. Yeah, it's just, probably just that real quick. Blimes Brixton Vivo. I think, or Blimes Bebo would be where the YouTube, where you could find the videos. And these are the music videos, right? Mm-hmm. He's uh, my uh, camera guy. Yeah. Uh, looking that up real quick. Uh, out, while Ren. he's doing that, yeah. uh, can we uh, plug uh, some other stuff? Uh, For that, sure. Uh, do you, a website where they can yeah, get yeah. merch or um, something? www.blimesandgab.com, B-L-I-M-E-S-A-N-D-G-A-B.com, or House of Blimes, www.houseofblimes.com. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Gab's Vivo. So you can find Come Correct on Gifted Gab's Vivo, Gifted Gab Vivo, or Blimes Brixton Vivo. Blimes Brixton Vivo. Vivo. Yep. Mm -hmm. Blimes Brixton Vivo. And we just dropped a new music video, which is actually only on YouTube. That's not on a Vivo channel. And that's at Blimes and Gab 
on Blimes YouTube. Blimes and Gab. Yeah, Blimes and Gab on YouTube, and the video is called Baptism. That's R- awesome. Run that up. Um, cool. I also am. I'm sweaty. I literally just drove here from San Francisco and then ran up three flights of stairs and dropped all my shit off in like it w- three. It worked out though. Three it ended up working out. It worked out. It worked out. If we you're watching waited. at we were, home, we were waiting. We were waited. It's all good. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm all about like just being like, guess what? This is the form I'm in today. This is what you're gonna get. And yeah. just keeping it real. We're in a pandemic. Haven't got my hair cut in three months. You know, we're oh, just you're good. rocking the beanie yeah, game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shouts out to Satori Mob. Yeah, Reverie yeah. Oh, you, you know. That. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been w- wearing this a lot. Thank you, Reverie. Yeah. Yeah. I've so been wa- yeah. If you made it this far watching my s- sweaty ass sit here and talk yeah. to Stevie Weeby, now you know this why. This is gonna be a good. It's uh, also hot. This is gonna be a good. Um, Week after week, because we had Reverie, mm-hmm. we had uh, Giovanni Marks, mm-hmm. we're going to have you, and mm-hmm. then hopefully Gab next week. Yeah, I got a connection. And then Gavelin as well. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so it's going to be just yeah. heavy hitters. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man, Gavelin. Shouts out to Gab. Yeah, shout out to She Gab. took me on my first tour, on she my did? first two tours. She took me to Europe. We did 20, we did like, I, w- I think we did 30 cities in like 28 days or something. So shit this like is that. synchronicity, because yeah. it's going to be you gab and gavelin Mm -hmm. boom 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 all in a row yeah what do you think about that incredible and you didn't that's a good look and you didn't even know i didn't even know you guys were connected like that i was just i mean i didn't you know i woke up at 8 p.m today holy shit i just there is a there's a serious alignment happening here you think so yeah that's crazy because reverie and i toured in europe together oh go ahead okay no reverie did reverie connect you to gavelin as well yeah no i've been i I've been messaging mm-hmm. for her for uh, a year, yeah. it, s- it seemed like. Mm-hmm. But then it wasn't until Reverie was on, then uh, Gavlin started messaging me back and wanted to uh, agreed to come Sick. on. Sick. Okay, cool. And then, but I didn't know the connection. So, yeah. But I didn't know the connection mm-hmm. that you, I didn't know you guys knew each other. I guess Reverie's name rings bells. And you got Rev on, and so now the whole squad is like, oh, if Reverie said yeah, and then you, she's down, then we're down. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's network like networking at its finest. Great job. Well, I you did killed that. It. it was by accident. You killed it. It was by accident. You killed it. Well, I'm glad and I did th- the right and thing. And that yeah. is that how you get all your guests? You just ask I you know, is there anybody like, you recommend? I don't have a booker, mm-hmm. so I just reach out I reach out to Time's up. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> what? Oh no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I <laughs> thought you were I did I? <laughs> okay. Um no, I just forgot what I was going I don't have a say. booker. But I just reach out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I, d- I just do it. I just mm-hmm. DM random people. And if it's sti- I just throw things to the, if things stick, I just throw mud on yeah. the wall. If it sticks, I feel that. then it just sticks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then asking, like, who do and you then, recommend? And then, like, after that's this is mm-hmm. over, I'll be like, hey, do you have any recommendations? Yeah. And right. then um, that's why I think Opio might work mm-hmm. out because not only did Gino bring it up, you mm-hmm. brought, you know him too mm-hmm. in this crazy it's small world. Yeah. It's like you have connection with him alignment okay so okay i have some announcement it was a great you're always welcome here Thank always you. that was wonderful uh pound on that um i'm looking forward to uh meeting gab as well yeah so we shirt. do have um a patreon attached to this if you want to help support this um podcast and make it survive through these treacherous covid times go to patreon.com slash stevie weeby uh-huh uh stevieweebyshow.com if you want to get any merch just know the the orders may be delayed because of covid quarantine instagram slash q-u-a-n-g-o-u all my music's at stevieweebybandcamp.com i do have a new project finished um i need to master it and figure out the album cover blah 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 it might be out uh, because we're ahead on scheduling Mm -hmm. so at this when this is out it might be out by then I don't know. It might be. If Just go on my band camp. Go check. Go listen to it. Um, we do have a P.O. box. If you want to send any um, packages or letters, send all your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. It was our honor having you. Thank you so much, D.B. Weeby. And we're out. Oh, Lil Ray is going to be back soon, hopefully. Uh.